friends, welcome back. Thanks for joining us for another video. We're back at the series Congo versus USA, mm -hmm. and today we're talking about weddings. So uh, we're excited about this. There's a lot of great little uh, topics to discuss mm -hmm. and some unique and interesting differences between Congo and the USA. So, so we are exposing exposing some African traditions. Watch with us, uh, watch along with your friends uh -huh. and family as we peel back the curtain into mm -hmm. those unique and somewhat mysterious yes. traditions in the Congolese culture. You may be shocked yes. and surprised at what you find. Yes, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, Africans, hold on to your seats. Hold on we to are, your seats. Because we're exposing every single tradition, okay? <laughs> Shall we start exposing? All right. Yes. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes, look at you. Yes. All right, let us expose. So how is it here in the US? How does it all begin? Dating. Uh, dating is where it all begins. Mm -hmm. uh, would show interest by approaching a young woman. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go out with me? Maybe mm -hmm. dinner, uh, spend time together. Uh, and as things progress and become more serious, um, he would uh, begin to show interest by way of uh, Maybe either speaking with her or traditionally he would go and speak with her father. Once he starts to show intent, you mean? Show intent, yeah, show intent towards marriage. marriage. But, but in the US, dating is very casual. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't like it because I think <laughs> dating should be intentional, uh -huh. but, and it was for us, mm -hmm. but dating is very casual. You date many people in the US. Mm -hmm. You date one, yeah, move on, date again. another. You date another, <laughs> move on, get another. I don't think that's the right pattern, but that's the way it often works in the U.S. You just date because it's fun. I mean, casual. in some people, it's not their fault. Like they can't stop somebody if they don't want to be with them. So, so if someone right. has this idea of no, I want to, you know, have them for the rest of my life, they can't stop somebody. If, no, no. That's... So there's those situations. There are those situations. Right. Too. But um, I know here in the U.S., if you like like somebody, you bring them around, regardless if they're inten there's intention. Sure, they're around your family, your family, around your, your friends. friends. It doesn't yeah. matter if you intend to marry them. Right. That just happens. That's just part of the culture. Yeah. Just dating and dating and dating. So yeah. back home, it's not so. When you bring somebody home, like it's like <laughs> you are about to propose to them. Right. Uh, or they're about. Sorry, the guy is ready. When they say the guy's ready to meet your family, it means he's intending to speak to your dad and mom about what his intentions are, and it's usually marriage. Yeah. There's no like, oh, Pete, come on by, let's hang out right. with the family. No, right. like, he does not show his face until he is serious about you, and then he, um, yeah. he shows himself to the family because it is a big deal. Like, I know for my dad, one thing he said is like, Later on, as we got older, it was like it was because he didn't want to be meeting Pete here, John tomorrow, Bill, Tyrone, and you know, like he didn't want to meet so many different guys. It was just like, yeah. bring me the one that is serious, and that's how the father knew that hey, this guy's serious because he's ready to talk. Right. So in Congo, dating is same here. The cha it's changed where it's like becoming more like the U.S., but for the most part. You dated someone you were serious about marrying. Like courting. Huh? Yeah, it was more courting. That's yeah. a better word. Yeah. Um, you courted them, and then when the guy said, "Okay, I want to meet your dad," he would normally give the woman an envelope, and within the envelope there would be uh, money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> and that money is to kind of say to the dad, "I want to meet you. This is the time. This is the date." Uh huh. And the money um, provided for that meeting, like for that meeting drinks, that's going to happen. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Hey dear friends, I interrupt you now to bring you a brief announcement. I want to let you know we're going to be putting out two videos a week through the end of the year. Our next one comes out Friday and from then on two a week. So stay tuned. I now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. About engagement or la première vin. I hope I'm saying that correctly. For all yeah, so proposal is what we, the proposal and the engagement. Uh -huh. So in the US, uh, when, when the guy's serious, he will consider going to speak with the girl's father to ask permission for her hand in marriage. 
before he ever proposes to her. Ellie said, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys do it the other way. They, they may propose and mm -hmm. then uh, the, the daughter might go and form the family. Mm -hmm. But traditionally, and the way I did it, um, so I went and I actually, because Ben and May was nervous about me going right to her father, I went and spoke with her older brother first. <laughs> and then he said, he kind of gave me a heads up on what to do. And then I uh, attempted to speak to her father. <laughs> Did not go well the first time. Uh, but anyway, so then they would go speak to the father in US, in US culture. Uh, and then pick out a ring and create uh, some kind of interesting atmosphere. atmosphere or event where they can propose in a very romantic way. Yeah. Uh, and then after the proposal begins, uh, if she accepts. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> yeah. she accepts. You give her the beautiful diamond ring mm -hmm. uh, and then you begin with the wedding planning. And mm -hmm. that is in the US, that's the, the bride to be. Mm -hmm. The, she would plan it kind of with her mom and with her friends. Sisters. And, yeah, so she can create the perfect wedding. Fairy tale wedding. Yes, okay. <laughs> so in Congo, like I said, you know, the male sends a word out to the family, hey, I want, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. He comes, but he doesn't just come alone to speak with the father. Mm -hmm. He brings his parents, usually uncles. Um, and mom, like his family. Mm -hmm. So, but during the meeting, um, he doesn't really talk. Uh, it's normally the dad, the uncles, and the mom pretty much speaking for him. Um, likewise for the, the girl, the girl doesn't talk. So it's, mm. it's, it would be like Jory's representative speaking to my representatives. Speak to my agents. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They would be, um, talking, speaking to one another, and yeah, we're just kind of there quiet. Okay. Um, and you're pretty much discussing about what, um, what do you call it, like uh, what what they want from you in terms of what's expected. So you mean like what the bride's family wants in terms of gifts? Gifts. From the um, groom's family. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, so once all that is spoken, agreed upon, and then usually it leads to uh, once the permission is granted then from that night forward the girl has I think traditionally it's seen as you already being married so then the father would say something like okay you have my permission or our permission to go ahead and spend the night in the, at the guy's home yeah. and that is kind of <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of called the first wine. Um, yeah, that meeting is called the first, the first, the first wine. drink. Yeah, the, the groom's family <laughs> provides uh, money uh -huh. for drinks uh -huh. and yeah, wine and uh -huh. beer and soda and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. Okay, so back in the days, that usually meant palm wine, but now that things have changed, there's sodas and different types of drinks. But mm -hmm. for the most part, it was palm wine. As we progress through this part of the wedding or the wedding process, because Congo is such a large country, there are different tribes in them. So certain aspects of the wedding differs or varies from tribe to tribe, mm -hmm. depending on where you're from. So we are Baluba. Um, so what you're gonna get is Baluba's traditions um, pertaining to wedding and so forth. The best you understand it. To the best of my ability. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah, you for yeah. bringing that out because I don't want somebody in the comment section to say. <laughs> like, that ain't Listen, that. That ain't that. Oh, you got that wrong. Okay, put in the comment and let me know. <laughs> yeah. Set me straight. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm not like set on, no, this is how it goes. Like I said, things vary yeah. from people to people, from, but I'll give you the gist of gist. Is that mm -hmm. it? Just, yeah. Just of things. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so we kind of forgot about something with the planning. Yeah, how did we forget that? Seriously. Who forgets that part of the wedding? Right, go ahead. Yeah. No, you go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so cake. Gotta think about tasting the cake mm -hmm. and figuring out what kind you want. And food. And food. Like, so there's usually a menu in the American side, mm -hmm. but in the Congo side, there's not really cake testing. Although, again, things might be changing now. It's 2000, it's almost 2020, goodness. Yes, so things probably have changed, but back in the day, it was not like 
cake testing and all that, you, you yeah. know, like you So the part we mentioned with the mom and the daughter planning mm -hmm. the wedding, this is all part of that planning. Oh, that prop. Planning you're gonna pick out yeah. outfits, you're gonna pick out food, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yep. Don't. Okay. You wanna go ahead? <laughs> I don't know a lot about the process. Uh, so in Congolese culture, there's a dope that happens. So is there something equivalent in the U.S.? Uh, no, there's not. Nothing at all? Nope. Okay. So yeah, that would be like, <laughs> and the dough would be the, like the, what would you say, the first part of the wedding celebration. Yeah, of the three ceremonies, Of the right? three ceremonies, yeah. yeah. So in dough, usually you're dressed like this. African? Yes. <laughs> so then um, the husband was usually, the husband and the family, or husband-to-be, mm -hmm. was asked to bring salt, oil, usually about 20 gallon, um, some clothing for the mom, clothing attire, liputa is what we call it. It's like a wrap. It's mm -hmm. these attires, mm -hmm. but just the fabric, not necessarily already made clothes. Oh, okay, clothes. just fabric. Yeah, and then there's usually like drinks and um, mm -hmm. rooster. They're asked to provide rooster. a rooster, goat, um, and etc. Now, this is the part Wait, like I say, was saying. Did you throw goat in there while I wasn't paying attention? Yeah. Goats? Goats? <laughs> That's like, crazy. What? Why is that crazy? So bringing goats, tugging them along on a rope. This man, I tell you. So <laughs> it sounds bad. <laughs> really, no, I'm sorry. You just had to, okay, didn't go you? Ahead, go ahead. Those things are um, then brought and inspected, and usually, like the bride's uh, father, uncle, and brothers go through. Um, and make sure everything is in, indeed present for okay. what was required. Yeah. And usually mm, some monetary requirements mm -hmm. were also are supposed to be met within mm -hmm. that time frame. Yeah. So which is similar to like even biblical things where you had the bride price and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, in Genesis. So all yeah. of y'all who thinks Africans <laughs> are sold, their the daughters are sold because dot is given, it's just yeah. Totally wrong, especially for a believer. It's a, yeah. yeah, it's in the scripture, and that is just part of someone's culture. Right. So, anyway, Jory did not pay a bride price, okay? I was too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad did not expect that yeah. of Jory. He told so me anyways. that she was joining my culture and yeah. family. So, he. <laughs> <laughs> you can breathe, because I'm an expensive. Straight from the dance. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't have afforded it. So anyway, that covers, I think, majority the of dough. the dough process. Yeah. And then afterward, there's usually like food and etc. Again, this is the part where I, where I was telling you guys earlier. In our culture, and I think this is true for a lot of uh, African culture, um, your oldest sibling has to be married off first. And also, that huh. is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Rachel yeah. and Leah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I couldn't have gotten married if my older sister didn't get married. But we're in America, we do things differently. So yeah, that didn't really stick. Right. But that is yeah. one of the unique differences mm -hmm. um, that I'm going to expose to you guys. <laughs> about uh -huh. yeah nothing wrong with this I think it's pretty cool but so the is. kind of the ambiance and and the feeling of that meal uh, reminds me a little bit of the rehearsal dinner here rehearsal dinner is kind of similar to the dough in that you're sharing a meal together both sides of the family mm -hmm. you get together for the rehearsal the night before the wedding or evening before mm -hmm. and you practice uh, and then after that you have a meal the rehearsal dinner in mm -hmm. US tradition mm -hmm. um, so both families are spending time together eating and talking and whatever also that night, later in the night, uh, it is a lot of people do like a bachelor and bachelorette party. That's true. Where the guys all go out and do something, one final hurrah before the wedding. Yes. Ranging from fun all the way to naughty, which sinful. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> we didn't we didn't do anything like naughty for ours. I, in fact, I don't think I did one or you did. No, we didn't but, do anything. But um. You know, some people do. They'll go out and whatever. Yeah. So there's the party. bachelor and bachelorette party. So the rehearsal dinner and the bachelor and bachelorette party happened mm -hmm. the day before the wedding. Yeah, we didn't, nice tradition. we didn't have um, bachelor <clears throat> or bachelorette party. In Congo. In mean, Congo. Yeah. yeah, it might have been, it might be different now, but like that's not a thing back right. home. Like, right, Yeah. The first uh, drink between the the bride and the groom is exchanged. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, equivalent to like, like the um, cake feeding on the cake. In the US, you, at the reception, 
uh, the wedding cake is the first the first two pieces are the bride and grooms mm -hmm. and they share them with each other mm -hmm. so like you'd get a piece uh, and I would have a piece and I would feed to you and you would mm -hmm. feed to me mm -hmm. okay so another thing I my dad kind of had mentioned was that he was throwing flour like like um like all purpose flour, flour. Yeah. <laughs> on him. Like and I thought, flour. that's weird. So let's expose some things here. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, it, all about? <laughs> so it's not a bad thing. My sister actually reminded me, like, when you graduate, like, a, a way to, yeah, yeah, form of it is to throw flour on mm -hmm. somebody. So that could be why <laughs> that was. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> I guess in a way, like how people here decorate the guys, um, they might like throw eggs at um, his oh, at the car wedding. At the or oh. yeah, like after the fact. Yeah. So I guess you can say it's kind of like it's that. kind of mischievous, but it's kind yeah. of congratulatory. Right. So time. that's there. Yeah. I expose. Kind of, it's kind of accepted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing weird about it. <laughs> so, yeah. anyways, so that concludes the dope portion or the. What did you call it? Well, for U.S. it'd be like rehearsal dinner. And yeah. Yeah. Um, rehearsal dinner and, and bachelor party. Bachelorette party or bachelor party. Yeah. So now we're going to move on to civil ceremony. <laughs> now on to <laughs> wedding ceremony and reception. Woohoo! So in the U.S., uh, traditionally, you have your wedding ceremony followed by a reception. Mm -hmm. Normally in a church. Uh, all your friends and family show up, mm -hmm. dressed up. Uh, bride and groom would be in white. At least the bride is fully in white, yes. in a white dress. The groom mm -hmm. could be in a darker tux, mm -hmm. uh, but dressed to a T, for sure. Yours. Oh, thanks. You not so bad yourself. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I need uh, to know. And so, uh, the way it would work as far as seating is the groom's family and friends would be on one side of the church mm -hmm. and the bride's family and friends on the other side right facing the stage right. where the ceremony would take place mm -hmm. um, and so uh, the way it would happen is uh, the guests would be seated by ushers as they arrive um, at least the father traditionally walks down the aisle with his daughter and to, what what does that present so to present so there's a passage of of covering of authority um, that's passed so it's like saying, I raised this girl, she's under my house, mm -hmm. uh, under my roof, under my protection, and, and I'm now passing her to, yeah. to the groom, to yeah. the young man, yeah. to protect her, to, to shield her, to, mm -hmm. to be there for her as the father was. Mm -hmm. So there's a passing of protection and, and him saying, you better that, be a good boy, take care that, of my girl. That's what we <laughs> believe it's stating. Some yeah. people don't really think about yeah. it and they think it's just, you know, yeah, dad Yeah, traditionally there was a giving mm -hmm. of the of the girl from the father to yeah. the, the, husband. the husband. Comes to the front with the bride, she's dressed beautifully in her gown and they're standing there before the pastor and mm -hmm. before the groom and all the wedding party facing the stage. And then uh, the minister would say, who gives mm -hmm. this woman to be married to this man? And the mm -hmm. father would reply, her mother and I. Yep. Immediately following uh, most U.S. ceremonial weddings, ceremonial weddings, uh, wedding ceremony. After fo <laughs> following the wedding you sound ceremony, like Ben and I. <laughs> yeah. Following the wedding ceremony, there's a reception, which is like the party of the wedding. Woohoo! It's like woohoo, we're married. Yes. So I now party pronounce party. you husband and wife, party. and then you party. move party. on to. <laughs> Don't act like you didn't like me, Jared. <laughs> So, so move on to the ceremony. There's food, there's yes, dancing, yes. there's maybe a few drinks. And maybe. <laughs> depending on who you are, you might have some. Or who you invited. Yeah, so good music and, mm -hmm. and yeah. There's things that happen at the reception, like there are toasts given where the, the, the oh, yes. maid of honor and the best man are expected to give a little speech about uh -huh. their, their best friends who got married or their um, sister or brother right. uh, to talk about the bride and the groom. Okay. Uh, and then people share things as well sometimes. But yeah. Okay, so but that for the Congo on Congo side, I have my notes, so I don't forget <laughs> anything <laughs> at all. It's pretty so, intense. <laughs> it is. So, so on the Congo side, this would be considered the third part of the wedding, and it's called the white dress wedding or the Western influenced wedding, okay. where um, the couple would then go to church and would be seated on stage, 
where the pastor would be would give a ceremony mm -hmm. or a sermon i apologize a sermon and they would be singing and etc elaborate singing um <laughs> so they're seated while yeah, okay. yeah 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 okay. in the on like on stage okay. with the pastor as the pastor gives a sermon okay. and, and stuff like that so then from then on um you would then exchange the rings okay and it went something like this I now pronounce you as husband and wife, okay? Now groom kiss your bride, bride accept a kiss. I said kiss, immediately. You have an idea of what it would have looked like. Nothing different from, again, the U.S. There's side a, of things. Definitely a Western feel. Feel to, to yeah. yeah, yeah, to, to this. the church ceremony. Um, so then there's usually like exchanging of gifts or giving of gifts, uh -huh. more gifts. Yeah. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it. Then obviously you have your food and your parting after the fact because you just completed a whole yeah, <laughs> lot of. Yeah things to do to do to do finally it's like okay i'm done <laughs> um this is yeah. one of many ceremonies so like yeah the big like one of the major difference to on in this section is that like rings diamond rings the size of the ring or what mm -hmm. type of ring is not a big deal oh it's like, not an african culture no okay. like like diamonds oh let me get a one a, you know one care, care yeah, one, yeah. you know it's not a big deal it's just usually like normally like a band unless you have money and you can spend that point then you might get something substantial but okay. for the most part like that's rings aren't deal. made to be a big deal like oh girl yeah. let me see your ring <laughs> it's not like that and then there's no bachelorette um party bachelor bachelorette okay. party i know now the bougies hmm, now that they have on tea okay no I'm, <laughs> I'm teasing now that um people are kind of branching out there's more of the western culture is being picked up mm -hmm. whereas you know there are bachelor and bachelorette parties where there are honeymoons where back home like what well, honeymoon let's go home and start this family okay that is the honeymoon <laughs> <laughs> okay so another important part of the ceremony is giving of the rings and so um, during the ceremony, the pastor would, in a U.S. ceremony, would ask for the rings. Mm -hmm. Someone would have had the rings, um, probably the best, best man, man and the maid of honor. Mm -hmm. um, and so they'd have the rings. Um, and then uh, the pastor would talk about all the stuff he says. And then and you didn't have the putting on of the rings. Yeah. So, and you say, like, with this ring, I be wed. Yeah, having to be hold wed. and blah, blah, blah. And and then sickness and in hell. Sorry. I would get a ring too. Really? <laughs> Do I have to? Oh, uh, no uh, gift registry. Like, you, there's no going to the store and going, oh, I want this one, this one, this one, and that one. No, usually people, if they have it, they'll bring you um, something. Yeah. And if they don't, they might, you know, the gift isn't like but the food that they made for you and mm -hmm. the party, and that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the major differences I've noticed mm -hmm. is like, that part or that aspect of things mm -hmm. um, after the civil section and um now to the church section the rings would be exchanged because mm -hmm. you can't do it after the dope because people aren't legally married married quite yet you have to do it you have to be given that permission after the civil mm -hmm. um, ceremony ceremony yeah. and the church ceremony okay so that's it we hope you guys had so much fun and laughed and we hope you really enjoyed it and hope you learned something if you guys have a question feel free to comment down below and ask and if you have something to add that i might have forgotten um feel free to comment and thank you guys so much and as jory was saying that be on the lookout for our next video yeah, yeah. tomorrow Okay. Want that difference? Keep, Keep looking. looking up. <laughs>